Heads Up Tournament on the California Delta, brought to you by New Gen. Man, that was a that was a crazy tournament. So you heard in the, the previous video when Jen was like, you know, if you guys ain't showing up, you know, like it ain't gonna be the same. So I was already like, I'm showing up. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep riding this ride, me and Root Beer, and just see how far we could take it, you know, like with the high hand and everything. But at the same time, I was headed out of town to New Orleans with the family. So I paid before I went, and the week I was out in New Orleans was the last week to practice before the cutoff time. So when I get back, it's already, it's, uh, it's no practice days. Um, it's just you going straight into the tournament. So I'm like, gosh, it's been like now. It's like I've been off the water for two weeks. And, uh, you know, two weeks on the Delta is a lifetime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Delta changes so much. In two weeks, it's a whole new Delta. So only thing I was going off was like, well, we're going to see if my spot still got it. So here we come with the heads up, me and Root Beer. I'm like, goodness, I pulled up to the, I pulled up there the first day. I, no, actually, I take that back. On, on Facebook, they start uh, doing the pairing. So we're all watching. Now, this was a cool tournament because it was, since it was a bracket tournament, you got to really be a fishing fan and watch the one on one fishing tournament against like the best of the best on the Delta. Like, a lot of the a lot of the best guys came out to fish this one. So when you pull when we pulled up that morning to see everybody, like man, okay. But you had to like focus on the job at hand because it was numerous tournaments. So you know every day I'm fishing two tournaments. You know two fish four hours, uh, two days for for two times in one day. Man, <laughs> every time felt like a new tournament. So I go out there in the morning, I, I fish, I come back. You know, you don't know how you did because it's still exact. It's the Delta, so you don't know if you killed them, if you didn't do enough, if you should have stayed out there and hit the spot. That was my biggest thing. When I got to the spot, I'm fishing. I'm like, man, hopefully these, these fish are still in this area. Boom! I catch two like two fours, and I was like, man, that should do it. But this is the Delta. Now I'm looking at the spot. I take a step back and be like, man, do I? hammer this spot some more to try to upgrade um, from eight pounds or something or do I take the gamble and just figure that's enough and then leave and then come back and like baby all these spots so I'm not having to take too many fish from the spot that I don't need or catch the fish that I don't need because what I did want to do was I caught the two fours and then I was like I need more and then I go through three or four three and three quarters three and three you know three and a half and I'm like oh man I could have used those and I got to throw these fish back because they're not going to help me so it was all it was all a strategy through that whole tournament but it was also a gamble because you never know somebody could have came in with a 10 and a four or a 10 and a five and that would have just did it but it was so cool that every time that strategy worked to perfection because every time I went out it was like the weights were getting better and better and I was able to kind of pick the the better spots that I like in the area to really dial in like the juice for those four hours and um, when I tell you that that tournament there was nerve-wracking because once you beat one person it's like oh like okay all right then you had like I forgot what was it like 30 minutes an hour before we had to start the next tournament you know, and you had to win two of them just to get your money back. The tournament was six hundred dollars. You know, so in my spot, was it took me probably like I don't know 30, 30, 40 minutes to get to the spots, like my first spot. And you know, so thirty, forty minutes there, thirty, forty minutes back in a four-hour tournament, like it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the times I was wishing Root Beer has a little bit more speed, a little bit more woo, 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 woo. But, hey, you know, I, I couldn't complain. I was just happy to have a boat that was running, and um, I was able to get to those spots and get back. Um, man, that tournament was so cool. So, for the championship to fish against Andy, I mean, that's my guy. Man, I... The Ish was there, you know, Bub, uh, Nick was there, Cloutier. I mean, every it was a it was it was a lot of guys there, man. It was a lot of Tanner, my guys, like it was a lot of my guys fishing, which is cool because that's what a lot of these big tournaments you get there, you see like the the usual suspects, you know. Uh so for me to take down these Christian, he was in it, you know, and uh to fish against these guys. Um, and do good, man. You really got to pat yourself on the back because it 
ain't easy. That's for damn sure. It it is not easy to to beat these guys. You know, um, you got to be mentally tough and you got to be physically able to 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 withstand and maintain everything that's coming from coming for you out there on the water from the wind and the pressure the time limit all these things that you got to try to control the best you can to try to capitalize on having a good bag and good enough to to win a tournament you know um man I, everything was lining up my way there I, I that probably was hands down probably the best tournament i had if it's not the if it wasn't the best tournament Fishing wise, it, it's it's the top three for sure. But the top of my head, that that week and uh, that whole derby of the heads up was just like it was magical, you know. And for Newton to come on the last day to be like, you know, as my as my boater or the sheriff or who, whatever you guys call it to to uh, make sure everything is going right. For him to get on the boat and just I just wow him. First, I had the guy prior they put on my boat. And he was like, oh, Odie, you know, I, I love your stuff, man. I watch you. I'm a fan. And I was like, well, you about to see a magic show. <laughs> because I'm wild about what's happening over there. So when he gets there, I mean, I'm literally, man, I wasn't even there that day, like 30 minutes before I caught like two sixes. <laughs> it was like, it was, it was crazy. I mean, that. Uh, Dude, it, 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 line crying so hard, babies was hey, yeah, yeah, dude. Everybody crying, birds pacify crying. It was so much line crying. Oh my man, I lived that in my head. All those fish, like it all the time, and it just puts a smile on my face. Like wow, like that was a magical day. That was such a magical day. You know, heads up tournament, and that was the first one. So to be the first winner of the heads up tournament ever on the California Delta and also put up the weights that I did in that tournament. I mean, not to my own horn, but you you going you got your word cut out for you to to win one of these tournaments and beat the weights that I I, I put up. It was just one of those like I even sit back and look like goodness. You killed him. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just sick. And then, you know, for all the Delta sticks to, you know, to salute me and uh, give me my props. And even now, like for everybody to, to, to big me up for the whole year that I did, like it just, it's just a year that I would never, ever forget, man. The, the heads up tournament. Like that was a cool concept that new gen came up with. And, um, I definitely be fishing more of those, you know, like, uh, that was cool. And, and to be the, the first guy to, to win the first one, you know, <laughs> you today. Now what I'm also super excited to talk about is the Heads Up Championship. So let's talk about the Heads Up Championship. Totally different format than what you guys are used to. Um, totally different than anything that's really going on anywhere. So um, the way that it works is we have brackets. You literally, if you sign up, you're going to go head to head with one other angler. And if you beat six other anglers, you have the opportunity to win up to ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand um, dollars for first place. Live jackets and kill switches. Live wells open, please. Nobody, come on up, buddy. All right, buddy. Have fun out there today. Good luck, Obadi. You're good. Have a best day. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, hey. Hey, hey. All right. All right. Obadi is up next. There'll be no porthole for you, buddy. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not enough time for that in our intermission. If I have to track you down. All right. He's got to beat 314. And he did, 875, 875, he's moving on to the next round. Here's your waist slip, huh? Uh-huh, you bet, good job. All right, first matchup, Obadi Williams and Adam Tro headed to the scales as we speak. Obadi's coming up first. How's it going, buddy? Oh, it's going great, brother. Hey, folks at 
1026. 1026. For Obedee Williams. Put it down the two. Uh huh. Let's see what your partner has you here. Are, here. Thank you. All right. Adam is headed up. You can stay here for a second. Okay. Oh, okay. Adam, thanks for coming, buddy. 405. 405. Adam, thank you so much for coming. Obadi, you are headed into round three tomorrow morning. All right. Thanks, thanks you guys. Good job, gentlemen. Thanks, you guys. See you in the morning, Obadi. Thank you. Here we go. Christian up first. 894. Obedi up next. Obedi is sponsored by the Yonder Gang. All right. Christian, here's your waist open. That. 11.56, 11.56. Williams is going to be advancing onto round four. Thank you, Christian. Yeah, we have some pictures over here real quick, yeah. Step right back over here, my dear. There you go. What a day. You were stressing. Good job, hon. I know. You're one of them. Thank you. Here's your waist up, hon. You are all set. One four two, one four two. All right, buddy. Yeah, don't go too far. All right, Obi. What's going on? All right. Uh, Obi, you're going to advance on to round three. Okay. All right, total of 12.67, 12.67 for Obedee Williams. He's advancing to the final yeah. round. Let me get a picture, yes. You know the drill. Yep. I'm excited to see what you're bringing in. It's a win no matter what. Somebody's taking home $3,500, somebody's taking home seven grand. So, cool day. You ready? All right. All right, seven, six, three for Andy Doudna. Obadi Williams headed up to the scales next. He has to beat seven, six, three. And he can't talk. For the next and he's not allowed to talk <laughs> until we give him a green light. Let's see what he's got. He's got to be at 762. 1102. 11.02. Congratulations. Obedi Williams is the very first heads up champion for the Delta. Yeah. We're going to do some interviews with him in just a second, yeah. also. Hey, good job again. Oh, thank good you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Obedi, let me get a couple of pictures real quick. All right.
man, thank you guys for throwing a, a spectacular event. Um, man, you know, wow. I'm still just blown away that it, it happened, you know. Gosh, I, <laughs> this is crazy. You had one wild year. Yeah, and I'm yeah, this really whole year. And I'm really glad that we've had a front row seat for this. You were so liked and so supported and it's just it's just wild to see what your career is really transitioning into so congratulations you really deserve it you're thank doing you. a great job thank you guys thank so you guys i appreciate you guys and like i said i'll be at the next one you know and i said uh put this one in the in the history books uh, you know i won it the weights was crazy and uh Man, I'll always remember this. I'll always remember this. Thank you, guys. Obadi Williams, the inaugural Heads Up Champion for the Delta 2022. New Price has something to add. Let's right. hear it. I got to tell you guys, I got to go. Ironically, I got to fish yesterday with Andy, who made it to the finals today, and I had a great time. Uh, similar personalities. He's real sarcastic. I caught on every time. It was a, it was a blast. We had a blast for that the whole entire time. Today, it was a little different. I was super quiet for uh, Obadi when we got out there because, like he said, it, it took him about an hour to catch his first fish. It's almost a lie because it took us 55 minutes to get five miles in river, and the first one came within five minutes. But technically, it was an hour on paper. That that's, that's what happened. But I never even had to mind my hat or anything. We were just cruising along out there. Nobody had a blast today, buddy. Good job. Well deserved. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in with us all weekend. Uh, nobody earned this one, guys. So no doubt. No doubt. After that tournament, uh, my boy Hugh, Hewlin, he was like, they got the Big Bash Challenge, let's miss the Big Bash Challenge. So I was like, all right, cool. That's so cool about the Delta. It's like so many tournaments going on. Your partner can be like, hey, you know, so this is happening this weekend. You want to jump in? Like, all right, that's cool. Let's get in it. You know? So I was like, all right, let's do it. Um, the day for the tournament, Hewlin's like, man, something came up. I can't fish it. So I was like, oh, man, okay. And I was like, well, I'm going to take out root beer. And just go out there and and just go fishing by myself and just go have some fun. So I go out there, I hit this spot. I'm not getting nothing for for hours. Like the first couple hours, nothing. I'm like, oh man, some of my juice. So then I'm like, all right, just going through some history. Let me go pull up to this one area. I pull up to this one area. Dude, I catch what a five and a six and a nine something throughout the two days um of fishing and i received three or four checks three checks or four checks three or four checks and and i end up winning big fish of the whole entire tournament which was cool because when that big fish hit i had my headphones on so i'm listening to music going down the bank i'm punching i'm punching i said hook do it shoots out to deep water so fast that I thought it was like a cart that I like foul hooked or something. And then I'm a pool. And then when it turns, she just comes up. Doo, doo, doo. I'm like, oh, that's her. And I'm thinking she like 11, 12 yonder. I get her in the net. I'm like, this is her. This is the biggest fish I ever caught. I put it on the scale. Scale said under 10. You know, I don't know. I felt like the fish was bigger. But at the same time, like I told you, oh, eagle eyes is is looking at. I mean, I hope I ain't turning like into parrot eyes or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I need. I I, I don't know. I, I I gotta step my game up. But maybe it's just that time. I, I'm going to like uh more. It's probably more guesstimating now. But it did look like one of the fish of a lifetime. Either way, it was a fish of a lifetime, and it won me big fish of that tournament right there and in root beer, and um that was pretty cool. It's the Delta Big Bass Challenge coming to the California Delta October 1st and 2nd at Russo's Marina, where anglers of all skill levels have a chance at grabbing a share of over 60 hourly cash payments handed out over two days. Hey, look at this guy. This guy has to be... Oh, gosh. He could be 11. Jeez. Oh, my God. Never give up, man. 20 years out here getting duped. I think I might have caught my PB. <laughs> my last PB was 11. I don't know, baby, but that's definitely some money right there. Eat the D, doing the Big Bass Challenge, baby. Your boy is out here, man. Beautiful day on the California Delta. Just caught a gordita, a muffin topper, a younder. Hey, 
you know, root beer is a little slow, so I can't be going back and forth to the weigh-in. But uh, it's 11. Your boy will be in there at the 12 and see if anybody could beat this gordita. <laughs> hey, if you were around the area, man, come check your boy out at Roosters at 12. I only got a hot minute because after I wait to fish, I'm back out there. Yeah, what time are we looking at? Hey. I thought she was bigger than that. Okay, what time are we That's looking at? Good. Well. What time is it? What time do we got? Man. Oh, well. Well. That's our number four for the big bass challenge. Do you have more pictures or? Oh. Oh, oh man. Jesus. Yeah. And all right, everybody. This man has been on fire. He's been winning everything. He almost won the Ram Invitational. That's right. 90, 93. Right. what's up, big boy? What do you do, baby? You know, having a good time. A lot of come support, man. You know, this is one of the events that you just don't want to miss. What you catch that fish on? Monster. Monster. You ain't telling nobody where, because what that means, you get to go to the Super 12 and get to do this all over again. Right. That's fourth hour, day one, for the Delta Big Bass Challenge. Guys, let's hear it. straight out catches them baby and we baited with like two minutes to spare <laughs> oh man i have to push root beer i have to push a little bit it's all good i got another spot that it should be a gork there <laughs> let's go see if she there so we can come back for the next hour oh man heck yeah baby let's keep it going one time oh, nelly there we go. what was it? the delta big bass challenge what was getting ready to rock and roll Woo! 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 Alright, brother, that's good enough. Thank you. Oh, what's the catch it up, buddy? Uh, punch it. Punch it. Okay. Speaking of punching, I'm going to try to get him a sponsorship from, from Hawaiian Punch. Yeah, yeah, because bro. this dude is the punching king. <laughs> the big old Yee today. This is Obi. He got a, he's got the biggest fish of the tournament so far. $9.93. Plus, he's got two $500 checks. And he's going to the Super 12. What were you doing? Why am I asking? Uh, you know, I was punching their lights out out there. You know, talking to a couple big girls. And, uh, you know, I got lucky. You got to like it. Uh, better be lucky than good sometimes. I like that, exactly. <laughs> all right. Now that's hour number four. We got two more hours for you guys to do it all over again. Come on down. Limousine ride. High fly. Yeah. Get Steven. Yeah. Kiss Steven. Son of a gun. Talk about Woo! it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah there you go. He's the best. He's the of Rick Flair. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the nature boy. Okay. Hey, what did you go that one way? 6.13. 6.13. John, you had it done unto you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Second one, Elm Boy. Yeah. That's what, oh, my man. Thank you. Yeah. Get back out there. <laughs> so how do you my boy Big Chris got me there. <laughs> I, I had to give it to him once. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Worth a cool 500 big ones. Hold it from the bottom. Be he had a 9.93 pound big mouth. And he's got a big mouth. <laughs> the big over D. The big fish overall champion. This is the 2022 Delta Big Bass Challenge Big Fish Award presented by Turner Outdoorsman. And how did it feel when you knew you had him on? I was about to leave. I said, I'm about to just hit this one little section. You know, when you fish, you always got a section in front of you. Like, once I get to that point, then I'm out of here. And uh, before I got there, she hit and ran out to deep water. And I thought it was a carp. And I was like, it was so big. I said, oh, my God. And as soon as she turned and flashed, I said, that's the one right there. She came back. I got the net, put her in. I thought she was like 11 pounds. <laughs> I said she was so big. But once I got her, I said, okay, there we go. And, uh, you know, my boat ain't the fastest boat, so after that I had to, I said, let me start mosing my way back in. And when I came back and it was almost 10, I said, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, he could have been up in chats, but he said, forget that. I'm coming out to get some of this money and got lots of it. Let's hear it one more time for the big man and the big man, Albany Williams. All right. All right, guys, we're going to go through this. Five of my nine wins came out of root beer, you know, and this was a boat that has like the no grabs, the trolling motor is slow, the boat's slow, and um, but at the same time, 
that was always my thing when I came up in fishing, like in tournament fishing. Like I love tournament fishing. If the trolling motor work and the motor work, then I got action. Me and Clint used to go out there and fish in boats that barely ran, ran or be on the trolling motor and put the money up and still be in the tournament and still have the mentality of we're about to win. <laughs> we're about to win. Hey, I don't know how many of y'all out there, but some of us is like the worse the conditions and the worse the situation is, the more the fish guys will bless you to win. So our model is when things start happening wrong, that means magic is about to happen fishing wise. And you know, that's just some of the positive. You gotta you gotta posit you gotta put positivity in the air for things to, for positive things to happen. You know, so and that's how I always abide by. Plus, I'm just gonna always have a good time. And I love it. You know, I say like, either it's gonna happen for me, it's not gonna happen for me. But one thing for sure is I'm gonna give it all I got. It ain't gonna be a lack of trying, I tell you that. Um, but I do know how to enjoy myself at the same time doing it. What root beer did for me was special and the story of you know me having the boat that I thought that was going to be the boat that was going to win all these tournaments it turned out to be the boat that I just bought for practice to win all the tournaments you know so one boat is you know fifty thousand dollars and one boat is five thousand dollars and you know they both can do the same thing you got to get out there it comes down to me you know <laughs> and believing that I can do it you know a year that I always will remember um, me and Root Beer been through a lot, and um, yeah, you know, shout out, shout out, to, shout out to Root Beer. You know, nothing but love for you, Root Beer. You know, Ski, I'm gonna put Root Beer in the shop and and get her all, uh, get her all pampered back up and get ready for 2023. So me and Root Beer can get back out there on the road and back on the water and have so much more fun and bring a lot of smiles to everybody. You know, I appreciate all the love that I get from the in the comments where everybody talk about Root Beer and you know Root Beer is part of the community. You know, me and Greg Blanchard, we're always doing videos with Root Beer and it, to us it's like funny like is Root Beer gonna start? Cause I know like once I get her started, she's good to go all day. But you know, these older boats, you gotta, you know, you gotta tweak her, you gotta get it just right, you gotta make a lot of little moves. And, you know, it develops patience, you know, it is what it is. You know, what you gonna do? Not fish. You know, so from my boy G B Greg Blanchard to come on out and, and have the same amount same love I do and of fishing to be like, hey, we don't care what kind of boat it is, we're gonna get out there and have a good time. And then for it to be root beer that did so much. Me and G B did the frog tournament in root beer. You know, he caught a good one on root beer. G B done drove root beer, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like, yeah, like, root beer is the boat. It's the Delta boat, you know, Ski? So when you see root beer out there, man, salute root beer. You know, root beer about there putting in work, you know, Ski, for years, you know, Ski? Like, yeah, 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 that part, yeah. So, man, once again, man, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for following your boy, for showing root beer love, for following root beer. We got more videos, more yonder tales to come. Oh my goodness, hey, this is about to be so much fun. So please, take this ride with your boy, get we kick your feet up, and then just enjoy the ride, man. Nothing but love from your favorite fisherman's favorite fisherman, the ambassador of the Delta. You know, now my other boat is back, but now it's like, you know, we're going to fix our root beer and get back out there. So, hey, thanks again for taking this journey with your boy and uh, root beer. And uh, we'll see you on the water. Yeah, today. I'd like to give a big shout out to my people out there, Better Boats. You know, throughout the course of the season, I didn't want to change anything on root beer. I left everything the same. And after the tournament, I never wiped her down. I never washed her. I wanted her to have all that Delta funk. And it just consumed me in root beer to, to victory, you know. But the people at Better Boats was like, listen, when it's all over for the next season, I know you're going to clean her up and bring her all back. We want to give Root Beer a nice little present, you know, a gift basket, you know, of, of love and, and uh, pampering, you know, Ski? So, shout out to Better Boats, man, thebetterboats.com. Hey, I appreciate you guys, man. Root Beer is shining now. I actually got to use those products on my other boats and, uh, man, I love them. So, I appreciate the love. All my videos because all my bolts over here are nice and shiny right now and um, I appreciate the love. Root Beer appreciates the love. You know, she's uh, walking on her back right now with her feet kicked up. You know, but better bolts, hey, I salute you guys for looking out for Root Beer and sending that beautiful package. It's always fun when we get to hang out and 
uh, I appreciate you so much and, and, you know, you hanging out with us, but I, but I appreciate your, you know, you're always, you're always up, man. You're always, uh, catch them or not catch them. You know what you're going to get with Obi yeah. and, uh, and we love you, buddy. You know, I appreciate you always having me on, you Kent. Know, you know, I love you guys over there. And shout out to all the listeners, all the, all the fishermen getting up right now listening to this while they tying up or driving to the body of water, man. I'm sending you some big fish right now, some of them gorditas, some of them yonders, some of them belly shirts, man. Obi, put a smile on your face, baby. And I hope everybody have a great weekend. You I'll got see it. You out there, Ken. Obi, I'll see you tomorrow down at the UFC, buddy. I'll be there for the weigh in. Brother, <laughs> there you have it. Obi Williams, guys. If he doesn't give you a yeet to D, he's not having a good day. <laughs>